so glad to be back. This is really like the only thing I was looking forward to, to coming back to New Orleans. I missed her. Gonna be nice taking her for a spin. She had a little German friend if you guys saw my Instagram post. A link to my Instagram is right. Fire her up. Sounds so good in here. All right. Now that I just parked for free for like four days, I'm gonna go around the side of the uh, little parking barrier. <laughs> Perks of having a motorcycle. By the way, the bike sounds fucking insane in this garage. I tried to um, record a vlog for you guys on Wednesday night <clears throat> before we headed out. I recorded, I was trying to record one on my way here to drop the bike off. But um, <clears throat> unfortunately, my battery died. It said two bars before I left, so I figured I'd be good. But I wasn't. Yeah, I'm not sure how clearly you guys can hear it, but the bike is loud as fuck in this garage. I love it. I think I'm just gonna let you guys enjoy the sound. God, it's nice. Bump. Pay it for me. Be riding this thing like I stole it since I haven't rode it for the last couple days. <laughs> Oh man, so what is up guys? I haven't talked to you guys in quite some time. Had a nice little break and went back to New Orleans. I was supposed to meet up with uh, Yummy R6 and it didn't really happen solely because... What the fuck? Anyway, um, uh, the whole reason we went to Virginia Beach is we still had an apartment there and we were subletting it and the girl was supposed to be out on the 12th at, um, at 11. She was supposed to be out, out of the apartment at 12 o'clock or um, on the 12th at 11. Uh, 11 o'clock a.m. and we got in at like we're supposed to get in at like one and we were gonna go over make sure everything was clean and shit like that and then um, uh, we had to paint the bathroom because we had we had uh, put some some gray stripes on the wall because the whole apartment was white but we uh, we're just gonna have to do that and she asks when we're at Charlotte waiting to get onto our next flight if it's okay if she's there a little bit later and we're like you know what we're not going to be there till one regardless so yeah that's cool um just make sure you're done by one so when we get there we can do everything and get the shit over with well she said okay well yeah I'm just waiting on the guys to come and bring the truck 
and then I can get the wash and dry out and I'll be pretty much good to go. Well, we get there at one and no, we didn't even get there at one. We got there at four o'clock because it was raining in Charlotte and the, the plane was running a little bit behind the schedule. So we get there at four o'clock on the way. We text her and say, hey, we're on the way. And she was like, yeah, the boys are about to get here with the truck. We'll get the wash and dry out and then I'll be done. Well, we get there and the entire apartment still needs to be moved out. There is shit everywhere. Like everything they own is still in the apartment. And we didn't even really know what to say. Like, our, what the fuck is going on? You need to get your shit together. So we pretty much, we pretty much told them that we had to go get some pain and we had to get things like that. We'll be back at seven. You better be out. So we get back at seven o'clock and like nothing has changed. Like nothing. So we just started doing shit. We just started doing what we were gonna have to do because regardless, it had to get done and we didn't want to spend the whole time we were there doing it. And we had to do we had to do our walkthrough on Friday because the office wasn't open for walkthroughs on Saturday. And Saturday was technically the last day of the lease, so everything was supposed to be done. Well, these people had put so many holes in the wall from hanging shit that it was, it was absolutely ridiculous. Like, I have never seen anybody's walls with this much shit on it in my life. Like, it was absolutely ridiculous. So, I had to, uh, when we went to go get paint, I went ahead and I got some spackle, and I had to spackle over all the holes. And, um, so, spackled all these holes. It was probably, there was probably an average of 10 to 15 holes in each in each wall and that's minimum minimum like i've never seen this many holes in, in walls like i've never seen people hang up this much shit but anyways spackled all the holes over um and then my mom my mother-in-law my wife and me we ended up moving like all of their shit out of the two bedrooms because we couldn't wait like and I don't know if the two guys that were with her were like scared of me or something because I was pissed off, but they refused to come into the house. She would come up, grab a few things, and then they would wait at the door. She'd hand it to them, and they would they would walk into the car. So I don't know what the fuck was going on, but that was annoying in itself. And then we had to move out all the fucking shit out of the room out of both rooms, which was annoying, and then I had to spackle over freaking 95 holes in all the walls. Like, I don't know what the hell they were hanging up, but apparently everything they own hangs on the wall. I guess they hung their couch from the wall. I don't know what the hell was going on, but it was ridiculous. So, before we left, um, we told the lady, like, she had to vacuum, like, she had to, to do shit that we needed to get done because we weren't able to start until six hours after the time we had planned on being able to start. So, she vacuums or whatever, we put on the first coat of primer in the bathroom, and then, and then, um, we were like, well, I mean, there's really nothing else we can do now until the spackle dries and we can get into the bathroom to paint. So, I mean, I guess we gotta just, I guess we gotta just go home and come back early in the morning tomorrow, finish up the painting and whatever cleaning we gotta do. And then we'll just do the walkthrough way later than we wanted to and we'll just lose more time of, more the more time that we have here. So, my wife and I, since we were still an hour behind, like we ended up waking up like really early, which is backwards because we should have woken up later than we usually do. But um, 
we woke up at like six in the morning. We didn't go to bed until one. Woke up at like six in the morning and neither one of us could go back to bed. So we got up and we just went to the apartment and did, a, did the first coat of paint and cleaned some things, threw some stuff out and then went back to her mom's house and had breakfast and everything and they didn't even know we had left so uh, that, that was kind of funny but then um, we didn't end up finishing everything up and being able to do the walk to until four four o'clock on Friday which we planned on doing the walk to at about 10 a.m. on Friday so that was really annoying and then it rained the whole rest of the day so like we all went out to dinner uh, and then like we just kind of went back to her mom's house. We hung out for a little while and then we ended up meeting my mom at a bar and um, all of us hanging out and watching people make fools of themselves singing karaoke. So I mean it ended up being fun. Luckily on um, Saturday, yesterday it was, it was absolutely beautiful outside and it was supposed to rain all day. And it just like completely, what the fuck is she doing? It just like, it completely cleared up. And we were at the beach from like one o'clock in the afternoon. We were at the beach from one o'clock in the afternoon until eight. Like my wife is burnt to a crisp. <laughs> uh, and it's kind of funny, like that shows you how long we were there. Cause my wife is half Portuguese and she never really burns like ever i've never seen her burn she only tans so that was that was kind of funny but uh so yeah we had a good time we brought a little grill out to the beach we cooked and everything and it was fun it was fun so we had a we ended up being able to have a good time but uh yeah guys uh that's really all i had for you um haven't really had time to think about a lot of topics considering like I've had so much stuff to do when we were gone, and we just got back this morning. We, we got to get up at like 5.30 in the morning to get to the airport and leave and get here, and we ended up getting into New Orleans at like 10 o'clock. We came straight home and passed out. <laughs> we slept from like 11.30, 11.45 until about 3, because we were dead, because we didn't get home last night until about 1 o'clock after we finished packing and everything, and then we went to sleep after that. But. Yeah, I mean, it was a long, long trip. We did not sleep much at all. But I am back to the house, and I will have a new motor vlog for all of you guys on Wednesday. And I will have much more riveting topics other than me just ranting because I was pissed off about the, how the trip turned out. <laughs> but yeah, guys, um, I will see you all on Wednesday. Have a good one and peace!